Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the boat game. All right, uh, we got the model Ships Ahoy 21 inch cat. I don't even freaking know what part this is. <laughs> All right, so we're actually going to be hooking up water cooling today, running the water cooling exits, and figuring out where we want to put our ESCs. Okay, so uh, stick around. Big B, we're not going to RC. seen me in about a week i've uh i've been sick uh my mother had a a high risk surgery i had to go help her out attend to her got back from a trip got sick we all have pneumonia covid uh but i'm back um i killed a bottle of uh carolina crud crusher <laughs> working on my second one okay got my my alka seltzer I'm about to drink it <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. So, I might not sound 100%, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna do it. We're going to do it. Okay, I hadn't made a video in a while. All right, so um, in my last video, we got the street stingers, the rudder, servo mounted up, motors are mounted. All we have left is uh, figuring out where we're going to put our ESCs. I got to get some heat shrink. I'm going to heat shrink them together, as you guys see. Uh, we got our cooling line here. Like I said, we're going to run the cooling. Um, I've done a little bit of weight testing while I've been laying around here. And um, I'm, I'm thinking if I put my, my ESCs up forward and my batteries, I'll be able to run them like right in here, you know. And my CGs following like right in here, somewhere, somewhere in here, you know. I could push them all the way up forward and with my ESC batteries in there in that current location I can get my CG all the way up to the forward step with single motor catamarans that's where I like to run my CG especially if I'm doing like strict saw passes forward step uh, if I move my, my my battery back I can get it to like right in here so um yeah I think that's what we're gonna we're gonna go for I went ahead and soldered up my connectors I put four millimeter on I don't think we need gonna need five you know, going to be running these OSC 90s, uh, XT60, yeah, XT60s, and 4 millimeter bullets. Um, running these ESCs like you see them, um, I actually moved these um, Furite rings back, so uh, so they're not, they were like, like right here, I moved them back so they won't run into my heat, heat shrink, you know. So, um, just kind of gets makes it a little bit or, more organized. I don't think that'll affect the performance of the ESC. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to put our exits. What I'm thinking is a, a straight shot from our through hole water pickup to the ESC. Okay, it'll loop around the ESC, come out, go to the motor, and then out the motor here. You always want your, your out on the forward exit the highest exit on your motor uh, your water jacket um, I'm thinking I'm thinking shoot it right through here put my exit these water exits right there boom boom one there one there okay sorry guys my voice is all cracked I've had pneumonia I had pneumonia my son my, my little boy Axel my newest my two-year-old he uh he had COVID and pneumonia. Okay, so sorry my voice is kind of cracked. So I'm thinking I put those exits right here so I can still get my, my, my driver in to adjust my stingers, that post back there. That's where we're going to be adjusting my stingers at. So I want to make sure all that's kind of open, you know. Um, so we'll have to play around with it with the tubes. That's my idea. I think I'm going to go with it. Um, I did my exits shooting out the bottom like that on my, my drag boat. And I, and I actually liked it. Now, I know I'm going to have comments. Oh, you're not going to be able to see the water exit if it's shooting out the bottom of the tunnel. Yep, you're right. You're right. I won't be able to see it. But if you have your cooling line, cooling setup right, you shouldn't have to see it. It should pick up water. Okay. My other option was coming out the motor and putting my exit right here like like right like right here 
like that like right there in front of the motor mount and then I could just loop my cooling line right here and the cooling would shoot right out right over the motor like right there one on each side but I think I'm going to go right here it's like it's like as long as you have your 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 water cooling kind of dialed you know it's no kinks or in, interruptions in the in the flow it, it it should be fine all right so I'm using these small offshore electrics water exits they're small it'll be fine all right and um that'll build up some pressure in the in the system keep it pressurized I got a couple holes marked here all right use my my drill bit index found the right size drill bit gonna drill it tight I'm not gonna use any um I'm not gonna use any sealant right now because I gotta paint the boat. Going real slow because this thing the gel coat likes to crack. I bet it cracked. Let's see. That was real easy with it. Yep, look at that man. That is just crazy. Check this out. This bit sharp as hell too. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh my god, this was supposed to be an easy video. Are you freaking kidding me? I barely even put any pressure on it. That's freaking insane, man. Well, looks like I'm gonna be filling a couple holes. Jeez, man, nothing's easy with this boat. This gel coat is too, he must have put too much M.E.K. in this gel coat. Too hard. Too much hardener. And so brittle. So brittle. Too much hardener. Way too much hardener. Jeez Louise. I just got this bottom off straightened out. There was a, there was like a, an indention right there. Jeez Louise, so uh, I'm just roughing this up. I'm gonna put some Cabasil epoxy mix on this and okay, fair it out. Golly, I've, I've done nothing but fix pinholes in this boat since I got it. I'm not even kidding. And you guys know me, I'm honest with you. You know, I tell you how it is. I tell you how it is. I'm just like everybody else, man. I get a product or something, and you know, sometimes they're great, sometimes they're they're good, sometimes they're terrible. This was a this is a good boat. <laughs> I just think they they use too much hardener during the making of this boat. You know, that's what I think. Simple simple fix. Just don't put so much hardener in in your gel coat in your in your fiberglass. Let it let it cure out slow. <laughs> Jeez. Probably make so many of them he wants them to kick off quick. Which you know I can't blame. Who wants to wait? So I got the bottom kind of epoxied and just waiting for it to cure out. And I'll hit it with some sandpaper. Went ahead and did the back corner right here. Had a little chip up there. So uh while we're waiting on that to cure, it's kind of off the deck. You know, well, I guess this isn't off the deck. That nah, should be fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not in the freaking mood. So, uh, yeah, man. I am thinking I'm going to go ahead and um, heat shrink these OSE 90s together. This is some... Oh, what is this heat shrink? Let's see. I can't remember right offhand. Well, that's not zeroed out. Now it is. So 65, 65 millimeters wide. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Might need to stretch this out. I don't know. Heat shrink, if it's too small, you can stretch it. Yeah, we're going to have to stretch it out. reasons I'm doing this like I said I got that convex area that just fits the ESC better and two if I were just to 
double side tape them together and double side tape my ESC to the hull, I wouldn't be able to slide it slide it under this forward uh, top side forward lip right here, you know, with two pieces of double side tape. Because I had Velcro on there and it and it and it wouldn't allow me to slide it under. So this is the next best thing. So I need to heat shrink this down. And uh, anytime you put heat on an ESC, take into consideration the MOSFETs and do it quick, you know. Yep. So I'm gonna go cool this down real quick. Yeah, I just put it in front of a fan real quick to uh, cool it off. Uh, Cause that blowtorch gets hot, hotter than you think it does. Heat, you know, shrinking down that heat shrink. I've actually, um, I actually messed up an ESC doing that. So I learned from experience, you know. Uh, or telling you guys from experience when you're heat shrinking an ESC don't get it too hot because you'll mess up a MOSFET not even realize it you know and um you know my channel is all about learning and it's always a learning experience with me um I, I go through my trials and tribulations with you guys good or bad you know so um I don't just show you all the good stuff I show you the bad like in my last video we had the the Sonic Wake out, and I and I didn't have to post that video with the Sonic Wake power cut, and I didn't have to. I didn't need to, and um, I did, you know. And uh, I just it just goes to show you that I'm I'm human, just like the rest of you guys. I know everybody goes through issues with their boats. It's not an easy hobby to be in. They're always having to learn and uh, you know, uh, adapt to each boat. And what it likes and what it don't like with my sonic wake um i know i know it was power cutting because i had a high rake propeller it was a 22 rake you know um 23 rake i think something like that but it was high rake and it throws a tight thrust cone consolidated thrust cone power cut a lot of load you know so I'm basically gonna mount it right here and my if i mount it up forward i won't be able to get to my my connectors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat shrink this guy onto my ESC heat shrink my my connectors in place like so And I'm just thinking that this, I just thought about it with my connectors right there. The cooling line is going to actually help cool them down. So that's good. I'm actually going to throw another one on. Why not? Why freaking not? All right. Let me get, let me get the old torch. Let me hit this Carolina crud crusher real quick. Come on. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that should give me enough room to put my my double side tape right there. Maybe I'll put it all the way across. That double side tape will actually hold my, my heat shrink in place, you know. And it'll be all consolidated. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so while that other stuff's curing out, let's go ahead. Uh, well, we'll hook up all this in a minute. I got my Y splitter right here. I've already got one of my, my power wires off. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this cooling line on the water pickup here and I think I'm going to run this straight to the ESC um, typically you want to try to cool your ESC off first you know it's the most uh, I guess I could say delicate of the two ele main electronics components your motor ESC ESC is more delicate uh, than a motor temp wise anyway or most of them are my experience hell could be freaking wrong I'm sure if I am wrong I'm sure I get called out for it but uh yeah I always cool my ESC off first if I can help it 
I have some boats that I cool the motor off first because it just works with the cooling run, you know. But uh, just depends on the boat, I guess. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit long, and the pieces that I cut, you know, short shortening the run, consolidating the cooling run. I'll actually take those little pieces and use those scrap pieces like on my my cooling lines right here you know I'll stretch it over the cooling line it acts kind of like a little zip tie you know all right let's push all the way down yeah so that's gonna go like this this is extra large cooling line from offshore electrics Oxstein Marine also has it, and Zipkits has the extra large cooling line. You can also find it on eBay, but uh, Oxstein Marine OSE Zipkits is going to be your best bet. You don't have to sift through a hundred different sizes like on eBay and Amazon. You know what I'm saying? They have either small or extra large. There's really no in between, so it kind of makes it easy when you're shopping. You know what I mean? All right, and we'll run this guy here. I could just fast forward through all this, but uh, why not? Why not just do it? Okay, so I'm gonna go to my motor. How do I wanna do this? Maybe we'll cross them over. So this this okay, what the hell am I doing all right so so this is going from the east okay that's gonna cool the bottom it's gonna cool the top out the bottom because I gotta keep in mind tuning this this stinger so I want to make sure everything's out my way here is that going to be better let's go ahead and get this ESC hooked up I got my cooling lines kind of run rough rough run right now before I get any farther I want to actually go ahead and get this ESC dialed in here okay let's bind it Binding. Actually, I need to go ahead and put some grease on this one. The other one's greased. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit of grease in my bushing. Cable. Just a light greasing. Initial greasing here. Alright. So a little bit in here. I got a Teflon liner on. Just use wheel bearing grease. Why freaking not? Well, I'm freaking not. It works. I've been using it for a year now. I love it. Get a big old tube of it. it works great. All right, let's figure out which. Okay, that's it. And... 
secure couplers. Get these guys here tightened down. I got them all Loctited already. The, the, the motors are Loctited. This will be the first time I'm actually spooling this boat up with the cables in. So, well, I've actually spooled that side up. I have yet to spool this side. So let's see what it sounds like here. So now we need to figure out which direction our cables are. <laughs> I should have looked at that first. I'm not feeling good. Carolina, Carolina Crushers got me, got me uh, dosed up here. <laughs> Pretty sure I got this one. Let me grab a cable real quick. What I like to do whenever I'm figuring out my, my rotation on my cables, I'll actually grab a cable I know is left hand. In this case, it's an old Blackjack 42 cable. This is left hand lay. So I look at the, the cable twist, and this one's a left hand lay. So that one's right hand lay. So uh, left hand lay, let's see, that's going to be, yep, that's the rotation I want. So this is going to be, so this is left hand lay, left hand lay prop. Okay. And then we're going to put the right hand lay prop on the other side. That's going to give us outward spinning propeller. Okay. So the best way to figure out which direction your motors are turning is just freaking spool it up. Just freaking see if you feel any, any uh, air movement off the back of the prop it's not freaking rocket science some guys make it out to be rocket science <laughs> it's just a freaking hobby <laughs> got lucky both of them's uh the right rotation outward outward <laughs> let's go let's ruin a brand new prop <laughs> oh i got lucky there all right Oh man, alright, let me take them off. They've got the right rotation. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright. So now let's I'm gonna figure out all this gom right here, get everything kind of in its place, and we'll go from there with it. Uh, been working on this, got it all sanded, filled. Alright, it looks good. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and uh put our exits in if I can freaking find them in this gum in this gum I got um, I'm not like I said I'm not gonna put any sealant on here because I gotta pull this boat apart and that would just uh, it just make it harder to paint I just have to it's one more step I can avoid where the hell is the other one at jeez jeez there it is there it is jeez all right these things they come with like a little little o-ring there that o-ring ain't worth a damn it don't work it usually just kind of throws every freaking thing off to be honest with you <laughs> so uh... I need to get this whole there we go there we go that looks cool that looks cool huh <laughs> All right, and we'll go ahead and get our nuts on. That's what she said, right? That's what she said. <laughs> Don't take me seriously. I'm all hopped up on this Carolina crud crusher. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I usually I take it as prescribed. Just uh, just messing with you guys. Entertainment. My youngin, he's in there coughing and screaming. You guys could probably hear him screaming right now. He is like. In a bad place, man. Pneumonia, COVID. He's yeah. He's he's got it worst out of everybody. To be honest with you. So these are uh, these these are uh, these um exits right here actually have a uh, place where you can put your your hex. You see that? And you can tighten them up like that. That's pretty cool. 
I don't think the ones you get on eBay are like that, to be honest with you. These are from Offshore Electrics. I don't think the eBay ones are uh, compatible with a hex like this. So keep that in mind if you guys are shopping for exits. I could be wrong, but I, I don't remember. Actually, let me check. Let me check. So, let's see. I don't know which one has a freaking cheap one or not. Good, so. All right, so we got our exits in. That actually looks pretty slick. I probably have a few leaks in my boat, to be honest with you. I didn't put any adhesive on the rudder. I'm not putting any here, you know. Probably have a couple leaks, my, my maiden, which I don't freaking care. Because we're going to have to paint it. So let's go ahead and finish this video up. Um, those water axes look pretty good right there. So I'm noticing these extra large cooling lines aren't really compatible with these uh, 2948 rocket jackets you see how close the exits are well the entrance and the exit you see this right here I'm having to like finagle finagle my cooling line on it, it goes on there but um not all that great that should work hopefully having that pressure on one side don't cause it to leak on the other side you know so uh let's see how it looks here or see if it works yeah that looks pretty good that actually looks pretty cool sorry had you guys zoomed in let me make sure i can get to my it's always gonna be tight i gotta have to do some well i can do... i can get to it I can get to it. Just gonna have to move some things around when I go in there to to tune these posts. Just gonna have to move a couple little tubes over. I may um I may actually use these guys right here. One of my viewers sent me. Um, I can't remember who sent these to me right offhand. I apologize, buddy. But uh, he sent these to me for my Blackjack 42. They actually go like right into the 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 inner skeletal on the 42 so um i've actually been using them on some of my, my my other builds and uh like like right here i could i could basically cut that little tab right there off this is on thingverse uh i guess it's um 3d printed well i know it's 3d printed i don't guess i know but it'll actually like kind of contain some of your lines and stuff i know i just did a quick quick job of it but uh like you can use these doubles right here if you want to kind of keep them consolidated like that you know if you got one that's like popping up onto your canopy you can clip it onto another cooling line down low kind of kind of get them consolidated they're pretty nice they're actually really convenient uh for the extra large cooling line you know so, um, I, like I said, I apologize. I don't remember the person's name that sent this to me. I'll have to look it up if I can find it. Uh, shout out to you. Thank you. You know who you are. You man. All right. So before I let you guys go, I uh, just wanted to show you guys the setup, batteries, ESCs. I still got a double side tape and I still got to put Velcro where my batteries go. I got to pick up Velcro on the way to the pond. So, uh, we'll do that before the maiden. Next video will be the maiden. I use, uh, the cooling line um, organizer clamps here just kind of kept everything in place consolidated uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but I <laughs> earlier in the video I ran both ends to one ESC <laughs> and it took me like a couple minutes to even realize I did it but I got it set up right now so in to the bottom speed control out the bottom speed control in the motor out the motor and out the boat and the top speed control out the top into the motor and out the boat pretty pretty cool all right um let me show you guys where my cg's at like i said i've never run a a twin motor catamaran so i'm not you know kind of exploring new ground here and with these props I'm not familiar with the style prop so uh with my batteries all the way back my cg is basically mid middle step forward middle step all right i move my batteries forward I'm going to put Velcro from basically here to here, you know, long piece of heavy duty Velcro. Uh, just in case I do need to get my batteries forward, I can get it 
my CG all the way up to my forward step. All right. Well, come on. To my forward step right there. You guys see that? All right. And uh, if I needed to move my ESC forward, I got a little bit of leeway. Not much, but I, I do have some leeway to get it forward. And if I needed to, I can move it back for sure. All right. So a uh, little quick look of it. Before we go, looks like a freaking pack of venomous snakes laid a nest in my boat. <laughs> a little overkill with the cooling lines, but it does look pretty cool. It does look cool. It it looks better than these little guys right here, which either way, these are cool just as much as those, in my opinion. These just look a lot better. You know, the extra large just looks better. So, um, that's her. That's her before the maiden. I'm just going to check all my head screws. I've already put Loctite on everything. Everything should be good. I'll just go through, double check everything. Make sure, well, see like that right there. That's something that needs to be taken care of. And this right here. So, what I'm going to do is basically spool it up with a with a, my Dremel. Like right here on this front corner. And I'll like, if I had a, a lathe, I would use a lathe. But... Uh, just pulling it up, just going to like take off that front corner, make it more hydrodynamic here so we don't get no resistance, you know. Same, th same thing on that side. Uh, going to reduce the length of my grub screws before I take it out. That's like a pet peeve of mine. I always make sure my grub screws are uh, in line with the drive dog. Um, I was going to cut this down, but... I put that 1616 ABC on here and it's actually like the perfect length so I think I'll leave them along for right now these shafts were for my twin motor Delta Force and they didn't work out so I just kind of used them for this boat you know they were for my Delta Force running uh, you know props with rake long long hubs props so I'm just going to double side everything down before we hit the water Velcro, we'll see you guys next time. I think it looks pretty good. Finally done with it. Jeez, took me forever to build this little boat. Still got to take it apart and paint it. Uh, I think I'm just going to go black. A little Zonda, you know? We'll see. We'll see. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Super thanks is available. And, uh, yeah, boat gang for life.